The Kesser Shem Tov, the crown of a good name, is the crown that transcends all others. Stephen Nitkin is truly the master of a good name, radiating sensitivity, joy, and optimism in every direction. Stephen is a genuine and loyal friend, a true neshama. He is exemplary, humility, genuine Ahavas Yisrael, and considered tzedakah a joyful duty. He gives to the fullest, always wishing he could do more. Steve's motto is, thank God I've been blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Kessler Shem Tov Award, Stephen Nitkin. Kesser Shem Tov, presented to Stephen Nitkin, inspired to do good and beloved by all who know him, New York Hilton, Kolal Chabad, International Awards Dinner. I have to say, I feel so good tonight. I feel, I'm feeling very lucky. Thank you. It's nice to see everyone here again. I really, really love this event, and I really love that it's become a tradition for so many of us, and every year we get to see the same people over and over again. It's really becoming something special. It's always a special night, but for me, the highlight is surely the annual report. When Rabbi Duchman gives the recap, for me, it's like being in shul at Yom Kippur. I'm asking, let me be a part of it for another year. I want to take a moment to recognize the efforts of Rabbi Dukeman. We call him the Duke in my circles. The Duke is living proof that while it is nice to have good intentions, good deeds can truly change the world. Our previous business was a private aviation business called Marquee Jet. And while we were soaring to new heights in aviation, the Duke would always help us soar to new spiritual heights and also keep us grounded at the same time. We would joke that uh, we wanted to hire him to be a sales guy for us because no one could, no one could tell him no. But I've, honestly, I've never met a, a person like him. And, and Duke, uh, just a you know, Mazel Tov on an, another incredible year. <laughs> like so many of you, I was brought up to believe that giving charity was not viewed as a magnanimous act, but simply an act of justice. It was just what you did no matter the circumstance, and even more important when times were tough. Over the years, I've been involved with a lot of charities and even been honored by a few, but the truth is, this is the one that really feels like an honor. It's just an honor to be associated with this organization because what they accomplish is simply astonishing. It's an honor for me to be a part of a charity that was founded by the Alter Rebbe 225 years ago that today does so much, as you heard in the Duke's report tonight. I receive a great deal of love and support from my parents, Phyllis and Barry Nitkin, and I'm joined here tonight by my mother and sister and nephew and my girlfriend, Dana. Uh, I also have my work families here tonight, including Psych Fitness, Wheels Up, and Tour GCX. I'm lucky that I have a business partner and friend like Ken Dichter, tonight's dinner chair, who for the last 20 years, along with his wife, Shoshana, have been part of my immediate family. Our common interest in charity has enabled us to incorporate Kol Chabad into our work culture. Now, I'm not going to give a Devar Torah like Senator Booker did last year. But he did say something at this dinner that really stuck with me. He said that ultimately we are all gathered in this room because we are the result of a grand conspiracy of love. He said there were people who did not give up who fought and sacrificed for us, who are part of a movement of people that through kindness, decency, and love enabled us to live the lives we are living now. This certainly continues to be true this evening. With your help and support, Kol Chabad continues to be a grand conspiracy of love for so many in Israel, and I hope that, like me, you all feel honored to be a part of it.
Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the evening.